Hey guys, it's Olivia, AKA with Lova A, and I am back. As you guys can see, I am not filming in my car. I have moved into my new home. Um, so I definitely filled, filmed an empty house tour. Not sure if I'm gonna post it because honestly, I feel like it was super awkward. Um, but let me know if you guys want me to post that down below. Um, it's also furnished and all those things. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing like how I furnished a place. I went with like a modern boho, minimalistic nature, Amazon type of feel, which I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So I have gotten a few questions on Instagram surrounding um, an update on my life, on my job, how things are going. And it was interesting because I was already wanting to provide an update over to you guys because there has been some changes. As a lot of you know, I graduated in, in May of 2000. 19 um, from a coding boot camp named at the Flatiron School. And in June, oh, I got my job a week before graduation and I started working in June um, in the very next month. I got my absolute dream job, which was amazing. My coworkers are amazing. The work is amazing. It is a job that is very, I would say, aggressive for a junior. Um, which means that it's very hard but the good part about that is that it forces you to grow um and it forces you to grow very quickly the motto that they have is that like we're not going to give you baby work we're not going to give you junior work we're going to throw you into what everyone else is doing and then you figure it out and the you know battle of the the fittest whoever you know rises to the top rises to the top and whoever falls behind falls behind and so um, I definitely struggled in the beginning. Um, things were tough. I mean, I, I struggled a lot. Um, but what I had within me was grit and determination and hustle. And that's what got me through the boot camp because the boot camp was very difficult. Honestly, the boot camp primes and preps you for, um, the boot camp primes and preps you for life after the boot camp, because as an engineer, you're constantly growing and you're constantly pushing yourself forward, or at least that that is what you're doing. Sorry, I don't want to edit this video, so I'm not gonna do any jump cuts or anything like that. But you guys get what I'm saying. Y'all know I'm I keep it raw and real over here with level A. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then I started to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I had so many epiphanies. Things just started to click. And that's when I did that one video, um, kind of like an inspirational video, encouraging you guys that like when things seem really, really hard, I guarantee that you can push through. So um, things got easier. And of course you keep, you keep hitting road bumps because that's engineering, that's programming. I mean, you're not gonna be great at every single thing. And so things start to get easier. Um, and so that brings me to where I am today. So I am um, getting into the update of, you know, the full picture here. Um, also, I want to say that in order for me to go to school and not have to work, I had to live with my parents, um, which was a major setback for me. Um, but I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to live with them. Um, they had the opportunity to live with them and that they made it very easy for me to be able to do such a thing because as you know, it is very difficult to work while you're in the boot camp. And so I, I did not. Um, I did not work while I was in school. So here we are, full picture a year and a couple months later. Um, my... Um, my old cohort and I, we met up um, and we enjoyed drinks and dinner and talked about how amazing life is. That was in February. So a couple months back, this is turning into a one year update. So I don't think this is going to be a life update. I think this is going to be a one year after boot camp update. Um, but yeah, we met up. Things were great. Everyone's doing amazing. Everyone has jobs. Everybody's killing it. 
Um, and so, so yeah, so here I am today. I bought my dream house. <laughs> which I'm in right now had I not gone to Flatiron school had I not gone to the boot camp had I not hustled had I not gone through all the hard stuff had I not um learned how to program had I not gotten a job as a software engineer I would not be here today I don't know where I, where I would be but I definitely would not be living in like the house of my dreams driving the car that I want um and all those things so that's another piece of encouragement for you guys that like I promise you it's not all for naught like it's this boot camp changed my life. When I say that, look around me. Like, you guys haven't seen the tour, but like, it changed my life. Like, if you continue to work hard and hustle and grind towards this goal to learn how to program, even if you're self taught, but to learn how to program, you can get the things, the materialistic things that you want out of life. Plus, using the law of attraction and all those other tools that I teach. So, definitely check out those videos because. When it comes to law of attraction, it's half parts being po uh, positive and, and manifesting and using different uh, tools like quantum jumping and scripting. And then the other half of that is actually putting the work in. If you combine those two things, you become pure magic, baby, I promise you. Um, so yeah, then my house, my house is furnished. Um, everything's great on that front. I'm getting really comfortable in my home. I have like five cameras stall installed on my home. So, you know, I feel really safe, even though I live in a really safe neighborhood, but you know, get paranoid like that. You know, we're living here and I want to make sure that, that we're good and safe. Um, let's see. I'm making guys wait on the job update, as you can tell. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll get, I'll get into the job. So um we were told to start working from home last month and so um not last month in in march yeah that's last month my days are all over the place now so in the middle of march we were told to go work from home and uh so we were working from home and things were great um i had a little bit of a transition period um, for just getting comfortable with being able to focus without being in an office setting and not having my coworkers around to tap their shoulder for help. Um, but I eventually got used to it and things are fine. And then one day, a couple of weeks ago, um, we were getting weird messages in our, our group chat and um, I was like, mm, okay, this is just a little off and a little weird. Um, and people were getting scheduled phone calls. And so I was like, okay, I didn't have a scheduled phone call. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I think I'll be fine. And then I get a call from my boss and my boss is absolutely amazing. I love him. Oh, both of my bosses. I love them. They're amazing. They're great. They're so smart. Um, and they told me that my salary would be cut by almost half because of this quarantine because of everything that's going on right now um and that would be until the end of june or until further notice and while that was really hard to hear i took it in stride and i was just really grateful because about half of my department was furloughed meaning let go without pay and so I, I'm very, very grateful that I wasn't furloughed and I'm very, very grateful that I just had the salary reduction along with the salary reduction was um, a decrease in the number of days that I have to work. So that was, that was a benefit um, that while I get, oh, I, I lose almost half of my income, I also only work three days a week. So that gives me two additional days to code, to get better at what I do, um, to get my house together, to post YouTube videos, and all of those things. And so, yeah, I'm very grateful that even with almost half of my salary gone, I'm still able able to live fairly comfortably with some with a few adjust adjustments. I believe in living below your means and i i believe in saving and so because of that even with me having just closed in my home and <laughs> furnished an entire house 
um, from scratch, which was five figures that I spent last month. And, and you know, it, it could have been this woe is me moment where it was like, but I just bought my house and now all of a sudden I found out these things. I didn't look at it that way. And as a matter of fact, I've come full circle and looking at it in a, in a sense of this is my time to shine. Once all of this is over and we and we go back to work, there, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some people who don't come back. So this is my time to step up to the plate um, because I'm eligible for a promotion here pretty soon. I will make a year at my company, a year as an official junior software engineer um, in June. And so if I can step up to the plate and show them that I am capable and able to do the work of a software engineer junior dropped, I could possibly be promoted into one of those positions. So I'm not looking at this as a bad situation at all. I'm just looking at it as I'm extremely grateful that I still have my job. And I'm really looking at it as an opportunity for them, for me to really show them that I have what it takes to be promoted, uh, to have the junior drop from my name. And so, yeah, am I still working? Hell yeah, I'm still working. I'm working my butt off. I don't even take lunch breaks at this point. I, I just, I work. I work, I work hard. Um, as far as what I'm working on right now, I'm working on um, the version two of an app that we currently use. And so I'm, you know, typically like juniors don't have deadlines and things like that. And, um, but no, I'm stepping into a position where I'm doing the actual work and there are actual expectations and responsibilities of a software engineer with the junior dropped, of course. So if I can do this, if I can kill it, there is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. There's definitely a rainbow on the other side of the storm that we're in. And so yeah, that's the update on my job. As far as the update on my YouTube channel, I have some really fun videos coming for you guys. I get tons of questions via Instagram and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love helping y'all out. Um, so definitely keep the questions coming and I'm actually going to start answering those questions here on YouTube. So definitely if you have questions for me as far as my lifestyle as an engineer, as far as, you know, just anything in general, let me know. I'm going to start doing a video series. And then once I... Um, once I'm done with answering all those questions that you guys have, I probably still will, but I'm actually gonna get into doing how-to videos with programming, how to program, doing some simple videos for you guys that teach you simple concepts. I know when I first started learning um, how to code, I would watch these videos and they would just go completely over my head. You know, they were really smart people explaining these topics with you know assumptions that we should know certain things already. And it's like, fam, I don't even get your explanation. <laughs> like, you know, I don't get the, the concept and I don't even get your explanation of the concept. So my goal is to come on here and teach you guys these concepts in strictly layman's terms, giving you real world examples to help you make sense. Um, and, and in my head, if I can teach you how to program, you know, very simple um, programs, you can then um, scale that up and build more complicated programs. So definitely guys, this is an opportunity to let me know what y'all want to see. I'm on the road to grow my channel. So I'm about to be posting videos. I'm in the crib now. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know of any video ideas. Let me know um, of any concepts that you're struggling with as far as programming. And I will be sure to um, post content on that for you guys. And thank you so, so much for 500 subscribers. Y'all, thank you so much. I know it doesn't seem like that much in the grand scheme of things, but for 500 people to care about what I'm saying is huge. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it seriously kind of makes me emotional a little bit because y'all care about what I'm saying. And it's also really important for me to also create space for um, women and women of color. Um, to come on and talk about engineering and talk about programming because a lot of times, you know, there's no representation in that. And if you don't fall within that bucket of a woman or a person of color, I'm also coming into the space as someone being brand new and someone not being like your stereotypical nerd. And I say nerds in quotes because 
I I consider myself a nerd, but I'm I'm saying like stereotypical in the sense of like the anime watching gamer, you know, was coding when they were 10 years old creating programs. I am not that person. Like I am a regular girl. <laughs> um and so I'm I'm here to also create space for that type of person and I, I hope that you guys can see a little bit of yourself in me. Um, like I said, I'm always going to keep it real. So definitely subscribe to my channel. I have so much more coming for you guys. That's going to be helpful and, and beneficial to your programming career. So thank y'all so much. And I hope you're staying safe out here. And yeah.